All right, welcome back to the channel. Sam here with GSK Wealth Builders, and today I'm going to talk to you about crypto banking. So one of the platforms I want to review is Nexo. Nexo is one of my favorite crypto banking platforms. I've had Nexo since since inception. So it was like 2017 or 2018 is when I got an account. I started using it a lot recently, and I just wanted to give you an overview of my experience with Nexo in the past, you know, three, four years and just what the features are and the benefits of using Nexo. So I have 10 points, 10 main talking points I'm going to go over. So first I'm going to go over the top five crypto banking platforms and a new platform that uh, I think is going to be up and coming. I'm going to talk about the balance versus credit, transactions, uh, doing your transactions and tracking your transactions on the uh, Nexo account. I'm going to be talking about going platinum having a platinum status, I think it's the most important thing. Early payments, uh, doing early payments when you get a loan, withdrawing from your credit line, having getting the best returns, and of course the banking card. And then the last point I'm gonna talk about is the dividend. So Nexo gives owners of the coin a dividend. All right, so let's get right into it. I just gotta set up my, there we go. Okay, so this is the Nexo website. When you first log in, this is what it looks like, right? So number one, you can deposit your crypto assets. So this is a centralized exchange. I don't mind them though, being centralized. They have a great CEO, great leadership. I'm, I'm, I am very secure using Nexo. That doesn't mean that nothing's gonna happen, but Anyways, I'm, I'm happy with them. So then you can have a credit line. So what happens is you deposit your crypto. So say you deposit 10 Ethereum right now, a credit line instantly becomes available of half of that. So then you can take out, you know, if 10 Ethereum was worth $20,000, you can take out $10,000 in a loan on the line of credit. You never, you don't even have to pay it back like in a certain period of time. You just have to pay the interest, right? And then you can spend money right now in stable coins where they can deposit the money in your bank account. So for example, if you wanted a car loan and 5.9% was good for you, you could do that. Now Celsius does 1% loans. I'm gonna go over Celsius in another video, but Nexo, there's a reason why I like Nexo. And then there's no minimum loan repayments. Uh, there's no hidden fees. They show all the fees every day, all the fees, right? So this is my balance, um, $55,000 I have deposited in here. $24,000 credit line and I took out 20 or 19, I guess. So interest earned is $2 and my loyalty level is platinum. So yeah, the cash balance is here. Your credit balance is here. So what will happen is anytime you deposit a coin, there's certain coins you're allowed to deposit. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Nexo, XRP, the US dollar coins, Litecoin, EOS, Stellar, Chainlink, and Tron. So if you have any of these coins already, you can deposit them. So for example, here, um, I deposited 1100 in Tron. For some reason, there's no credit line. It's probably because the credit line was taken somewhere else. All right. So first of all, my top five crypto banks, right? We're going to go with the top five, starting from the top. Number one is Nexo. Nexo is centralized. That's why it's number one. Number two, I'm going to go with a tie with Trust Wallet and MetaMask. These are decentralized wallets where you control the coins. The reason why I'm going to say Trust Wallet is you can stake coins in Trust Wallet. There's only about five coins you can stake, but for example, Binance Coin, Binance invested in Trust Wallet, so you can stake Binance Coin and earn 30% interest on the coin. So imagine you know you're going to hold Binance coin for two years and it stays 30% for the whole year. You just got 30% more coins in Binance by holding it in Trust Wallet versus holding it in your MetaMask, right? So, uh, so Trust Wallet, so Trust Wallet and MetaMask tied for number two. Celsius is number three. I'm new to Celsius, so I don't really have a lot of info. Um, Binance, number four, because they're just a beast, centralized, and then BlockFi. And then I have a bonus one that I want to talk about later. So 
on your balance the way that they work with the boring you have all these coins here right they have said or they have deemed all the coins that you put in here other than the us dollar coin and uh, bitcoin and ether risky therefore they're only going to give you between 30 and 30 percent of your balance so if you were to put ten thousand dollars worth of chain link for example they're only going to let you borrow three thousand five hundred dollars right so you put a million dollars of chain link they're going to let you borrow three hundred fifty thousand dollars at six percent if you have a uh, platinum status right so then you're going to go to your transaction so the what i like about nexo is every single day they they show you what's going on they have transparency of the fees right and they're, they're not shy about charging you fees so i'm just going to go back to before i had a loan and i just had like i don't know i had like 10 20 bucks in here maybe 100 bucks okay so look like this goes back for years anyways i didn't i forgot i had coins in here right every single day 8 p.m they gave me my interest every single day interest earned interest earned interest earned right then all of a sudden i don't know what happened but oh eth i think the price of eth went up so now every single day interest is going up then it goes up again interest is going up right they just keep giving me the percentage of ethereum that i'm going in right and it's just every day interest earned interest earned that's amazing every day 8 p.m you get your interest so you know if you want a certain amount of income you can actually reverse engineer it to say if i want x amount of income i need to deposit x amount of dollars and at a five percent or a seven percent interest rate this will be my income you can actually do the the calculations right so then what happened i withdrew some money weird anyways i withdrew some money i topped up the crypto right so i topped up thirteen thousand dollars then what did i do i took out a loan right and then so what happens is once you take out the loan they start charging you interest every day it's right there you can see it right then i did another loan they can you can see it so what i want to caution you is uh, first of all always be platinum always be platinum so what i mean about platinum is when you go here and you scroll down it's going to show you your loyalty level now when you click on the loyalty levels if i was base that was basic right the two dollars and forty or two dollars and sixty cents that they're charging me per day would be double so you don't want to have that right so what you do to be platinum is it'll tell you it'll say buy 500 more coins or buy 800 more coins and you just buy the coins so i'm platinum right so you just click here buy nexo tokens and you go to the exchange right and you just take your you know bitcoin or ethereum right i have ethereum here and i could buy nexo so if i said i wanted 25 percent, boom 36 nexo right i can preview and it tells me what the fee is there's no fee and it tells me what the amount is so then i can compare that online so that's how you become platinum so you should always be platinum next thing early payments so i took out a loan and i wanted to pay some of it back like within 20 days they charge you so what happened here it is so the process is you would i sent crypto to the exchange 500 bucks right then I went to pay when I hit pay they sold it right so they sold it it was 502 US dollars when they sold it then they charged me a fee of like whatever four hundred four dollars and ninety two cents because they charged me the whole month so you take out a loan you pay it back fast you still got to pay at least the month right so that it is what it is it's all there though and it, it's fine so um, withdrawing from your credit line so say you've deposited your crypto assets right and you want to withdraw some money so let's say here i want to withdraw some ether 
So it's telling me I can withdraw up to this, right? Then it's going to ask for the address. So I put in the address of where I want to send it. So do I want to send it to my, uh, do I want to send it to Celsius? Do I want to send it to Binance? Do I want to send it to MetaMask? Do I want to send it to um, Trust Wallet? Do I want to send it to BlockFi? Doesn't matter, right? Um, Do not, do not send it to Bitfinex, Hobie, or, or Hobbit, right? Use um, use MetaMask first or Trust Wallet. So what happens is because you're Platinum, you get five free withdrawals per month. You put your withdrawal address, you put the amount, no fees, right? ETH, and it tells you what the credit is. You hit withdraw. Once you hit withdraw, they're going to go through their process. So it's not instant. Um, it can take 15 minutes. It can take two days, but my average one, I've done three withdrawals, 15 minutes is what it took. What happened is they'll say, we're, we're approving you and then they'll, they'll prove you. So that is how you withdraw. And the next point we have is the best, how to get the best returns. Once again, how to get the best returns. It's when you're platinum, right? So when you're when you are basic, your highest crypto return is going to be four percent. When you're platinum, your highest return is going to be five percent. But then, if you ask to get your interest in Nexo tokens, which is what I currently do, eventually I'm just going to have too many Nexo tokens, and I might switch it back. But if you ask for that, you get an extra two percent, and then dividends, right, or a savings rate. So for example, if I'm platinum and I put USD, USD coin. So for example, you don't want to take any risk. You put a hundred thousand dollars of US dollars in your Nexo and your platinum, they're going to pay you um, $10,000 a year. So US dollar, I guess the US dollar is going down against inflation, but right, you have a hundred thousand dollars US almost $800 a month. Very good, right? If you take it in Nexo tokens, the extra 2%, now you're getting 12%. So you can create a pension fund um, here, right? So I like it. I like it a lot. Um, withdraw, so you can also withdraw to cash. So if you withdraw to cash, it would take, if you withdraw to cash, it would take three to five business days and they'll actually send money to your bank account. So for example, say I am getting a car loan. I have my crypto in here. I don't want to sell it, right? But I have savings from my crypto and I want to get a car loan and I still have a job or I have income that I can pay off the car loan. What I'll do is I'll get the loan at 6%. So there are better loans. I'd probably do it with Celsius, right? So I would get the loan at 6%. I'd have them deposit the money into my bank account. I go to the car dealership and I buy the car cash. Then I pay the loan back using uh, my income or using other trading or whatever, right? And I just showed you how to pay it back. You deposit the the crypto and then you hit pay the back, pay back. So the next thing is Nexo is coming out with a credit card. So then you won't even need to, you won't even need to um, ask for the bank account because the credit card is going to be hooked up to the wallet. So they'll probably have a wallet account where you, you have your main money here. You deposit some money into the wallet and you spend out of that wallet. It's going to be amazing, right? And it's anywhere where MasterCard is accepted and uh, accepted by 40 million merchants worldwide. It's right at your fingertips. You can freeze the card. Another cool thing is say you're paying on a sketchy website. I don't know what sketchy website you'd be buying things from. You can create a virtual credit card, pay with the virtual credit card. Then you can like delete the credit card number or whatever. And then you still have your, you're protecting your main credit card number. So using Nexo will be more secure than using a regular credit card because there's so much fraud going on with credit cards. And uh, yeah, the virtual cards. And then the next, the last thing is 
dividends. So Nexo pays coin holders dividends. They haven't paid one this year. So this is a medium post from August 20, uh, 2015. So what happens is 30% of Nexo's profits is paid out as a dividend, right? So our operations have remained strong um, despite the pandemic. So Nexo will periodically and proportionally distribute 30% of its, so it's periodical, it's not regular. So 30% of their profits to Nexo token holders. In August, 2019, it was 2 million. 2018, it was 900,000. And so what they'll do is they'll announce, they'll send an email like, we're announcing a $2 million dividend. Everyone's gonna get this many cents per token, right? And that's amazing. So why you should hold the coin? 50% cheaper interest, right? 50% um, interest discount, and then 25% higher interest when you are holding coins in the coin. So the whole point of Nexo, you put your coins here, your money makes you money, right? On top of that, in theory, the coin should be going up in value. Meanwhile, you can spend the interest if you wanted. And so that's what you should do. Never spend the principal, only spend the interest. And that's all that I have to say about Nexo. And um, yeah, so let me know what you think about this idea. What do you think about Nexo? And, um, you know, I'm going to be bringing more reviews. So that's all I have for today. Thank you very much. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Please like and share. And I also have some links if you want to join some of the um, platforms that I mentioned. I have some links below. So thank you very much.